Hi everyone. Today I will be introducing you to the Checkout Rules app, which allows you to add, customize your checkout. For example, you can modify how the shipping methods are displayed at the checkout or the payment methods, and you can sort them or hide some of them. So first we have to install the app. After we install the app, the first uh, screen which we see is where it's asking us to add a rule. So rules allow you to customize the checkout by adding your desired conditional logic. So let's try to create a rule. So here we can see that we have two options. Either we can create a shipping uh, rule or we can create a payment rule. Shipping rule basically means how the shipping methods will be displayed at the checkout. So we have reorder shipping methods rule and then in the payment, we have hide payments method rule. So currently, for example, let's try to reorder shipping methods. So uh, here we can define how the rule will behave. So we can optionally give this rule a name. Uh, then we have the status of the rule. So we have three status. Uh, a rule can be in testing or a rule can be active or deactivated. Testing basically means that you have to enter the first name as testing on the checkout to see this rule in action. And otherwise it will not affect your customers. Active basically means to activate this rule on your store and it will affect all of your customers. Deactivated means to disable the rule. Here is the uh, actual logic of the rule. So here we can see that when this rule should run. So uh, always means to, to always run this rule or we can choose through all of these conditions. So for example, when there is a new customer or a repeat customer or based on order total amount or for example, uh, if there is a certain product from a certain collection, etc., or based on the zip code, etc. So uh, for example, now let's choose order total amount. So I want this order total amount to be, for example, when there is a uh, order total amount greater than 100, then this rule should run. And then I, I can add another condition, for example, uh, let's say when there is a new customer. So what this means is basically when there is a new customer and order total amount is greater than 100, uh, when both of these conditions are true, then reorder shipping methods using, now we have three strategies here. Either we can do, do fixed ranking, which basically means uh, we define at what rank the uh, what shipping method should display. For example, at rank number one, what shipping method should display, etc. And then based on shipping price, for example, price uh, high to low or low to high. And delivery type is basically uh, based on the delivery type that uh, if is, this is a shipping delivery or this is a local pickup or store pickup, etc. So let's choose, for example, fixed ranking at the moment. And then we can define uh, the shipping method contains part of the shipping method's exact full name is basically, let's say, Express. So I know one of the shipping method uh, name is Express delivery. So I, 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 I can put part of the name here. So this basically means that when this condition is uh, met, then reorder shipping methods using this and then uh, express method should appear at rank number one and all other shipping methods should appear afterwards. So now we can create this rule and after we are done creating the rule, we can click here to test the checkout. So this will bring us to the cart so we can build the cart and do the checkout to test this. So if we check out with an amount of 70, which is less than 100, so our rule should not run. But uh, let's try to check out and see what happens. So here we can see that uh, our first name is uh, empty. So we can enter a name of testing to enable the rule actually, otherwise it will not run uh, because our current rule status in, is in testing. So we can see this is the current uh, order in which the shipping methods are displayed, economy first and center and then express. So let's try to go back and then try to add another item uh, or maybe just increase the quantity for this item and then try to check out. So now we can see the amount is greater than 100. So let's try to check out and then uh, we can see the express method is at rank number one. This is exactly what we wanted. So if we go back and then we change the name to, for example, a proper name, <clears throat> this will be the flow for a normal uh, checkout. So here we can see that the rule will not run uh, because our current rule status is testing. So to fix that, we go back uh, to checkout rules and then we can uh, click on active and then save it. And then uh, now this rule will be activated at the checkout. So we can click on test checkout and then uh, try to check out again. And then this time, uh, <clears throat> even if 
and the name is not testing this is a normal uh, checkout flow now uh, we can still see that the rule runs and then express method is at rank number one so this is how you uh, use reorder shipping methods rule so you can always uh, come here and modify this rule uh, and add any new conditions or update this rule uh, as you want that's it for this tutorial if you have any comments or any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching